everyone, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerush Couture TV. I am going to try and film my perfume collection and nail polish collection video. I'm really not sure how this is going to go. I have to get straight into it. These are my polishes and these are my perfumes. Let's start with perfumes. I am simply going to tell you what they are <laughs> uh, and how much I like them and I guess sort of explain the scent but without going overboard. If you have watched my channel for quite some time and sort of followed me probably from the beginning, you know and understand this perfume in my hand and you understand it is my scent, it is my uh, mantra, it is what I'm known for and has been since the age of 16, I want to say 16, 16, 17, to the point where <clears throat> I was a little bit cunning, shall we say, and I had a boyfriend or two then and I, um, they broke up, we broke up. And I sprayed this underneath his pillow at night. Like once when I was over at his house, I sprayed it there. And I was like, ha, huh, now you're going to have to think of me every time you go to bed. That's how much this perfume is like. When people smell angel, they say, oh, I thought you were in the room. Or I smell angel today and I thought of you. I know that's what perfumes is about, but this stuff, I've said it before in a video, I drink it, I bathe in it, uh, I've had many emails saying, but Jerusha, it's hazardous, or there's, you know, carcinogenic connection if you have it on your skin. It hasn't deterred me. This is Angel by Terry Mugler. This is the 100ml bottle, the 100ml tall star bottle, blue in colour in the fluid. Mum got this one for me. I have had, I can't even tell you how many stars I've had. The Lane Flat stars, maybe over, truthfully over 15, easily. And that ranges from 25 bottles to 100 ml bottles. And it just goes, goes and goes and goes. I douse myself in it. So number one, Angel, if you've watched me for a while, you know that. I, maybe I'll do them in twos. These two you saw me just haul. This is Dorsche & Gabbana Rose, the one. So the one is a lot stronger than this. This is far floral, floralier, floralier, uh, more floral, obviously, because it's rose. So it's rose base and high notes of rose, uh, but just beautiful, lovely for spring, summer. And then I just showed you my favorites, my Burberry. Again, very florally and strong. All of these are really strong. I love musky perfumes, but they're a statement perfume. I love statement perfumes. When you walk into a room, somebody is wearing and they can almost name it. I love that sort of perfume. This is my Gucci Guilty. I have shown it in my Gucci collection. I have said before that I get 30ml bottles, if you've heard me say that before because I like to be able to either throw them in my purse or it's just not a big commitment. A hundred mil is a big commitment and if the perfume you know gives you a headache or you don't like it or you sneeze from it it's just better to have a smaller amount of it. Gucci Guilty is super fierce. I've mentioned them before in my Gucci collection video. It's just gold. It's fabulous and it's really strong. It's that beautiful high notes of what do they say, patchouli or something? This is really strong, but it's beautiful. This Gucci fragrance, which I didn't really know the name for, but it's just Gucci, hers, hers. It's a pink fluid, which has somewhat lost its color. So I'm pretty sure this is probably expired by now. Uh, perfumes probably last four to five years. If you keep them in the sun, they'll expire. And you know they expire because they smell like pure alcohol. Like if you spray it on you, it will just smell off. You'll be like, oh, why can I continuously smell vodka? And it just turns out it'll be the perfume. This is really, it's like going on a tropical beach. It's very florally and fresh, but just, yeah, tropical. 
very that would be a summer fragrance then I had the two Gucci brushes this is a phenomenal fragrance if you have not smelt Gucci rush go and smell it I love it I used to have about four of these little thingy me jiggies they're like little cassettes and oh it's so musky it reminds me of Hong Kong I love it I used to wear it all the time when I was over there it's just musky and yeah just a beautiful scent Gucci rush two of those this is quite dirty but it is the new reveal from Calvin Klein it's really dirty I don't even really want to show it up close gold fluid I love everything that's it has the gold fluid it's really stand out this is kind of a version of it reminds me kind of of like CK one for men but it's for women it's very like oceany and yeah almost like men's cologne but it's for women anyway so that's the 100 mil this is a fierce perfume exactly like the Gucci Guilty this is really fierce I used to wear this a ton in my boutique oh it reminds me of my boutique when I smell it uh, this is Armani Idol and this size is 75 mil oh 75 mil so this is Armani Idol super strong super glamorous this is Dolce & Gabbana the one oh look see I have the one oh they're the same size and I think I stole this from mum and versus rose the one it's really really strong it's like because that's so rose based oh, I would probably say this is probably a summer fragrance and yeah it's or a fall fragrance it's not like strong musky but again fierce again in this look see you can just tell they're like those you know Chanel number no. five strong you're gonna walk into a room people are gonna notice you another perfume that is that is YSL's cinema I got this from I think I got this as a gift I've never actually worn it on myself I do remember I spilt I think I spilled coffee in my boutique and I sprayed this all over the carpet doused the carpet in it and it made my boutique smell so nice it is so strong super florally but super strong that reminds me a lot of Gucci Guilty great packaging gold fit notice how all of the perfumes I love are like fierce and gold this is Lady Million by Paco Urbana and never really worn this out it's oh it's I, I feel like it would give me a headache I'm not I don't I've never actually worn this out I got this as a gift but it's cool packaging it's like this gold little dome if you just want to have fun with fragrances number one fragrance for just fun girly so fresh like you've just stepped out of a oh so sweet a sweet um, florally shower just doused yourself in fun this is juicy couture viva la juicy it's got all the little charm so cute the charm the crest and the bow on the front this is what size uh 50 mil and this is 50 mil and i think i got this i did i get this in hong kong yes but it's beautiful another pinky meaning the fluid inside is pink if you can see that the fluids inside are pink but this is uh, Victoria Beckham's intimate intimately this is really cinnamony I remember that spicy that's what this is she did one and David Beckham did one it's really spicy yeah Woo! that's right why did I get that I think it was on sale at Priceline for like $30 spicy and warm notes I think that would be a winter a winter fragrance if you notice I have a lot of staple fragrances these are kind of more famous fragrances I don't really go off the beaten track like I don't delve into Lancome and and get fragrances I'm not sure of because I just won't wear them I mean I, you know I 
<laughs> I want to say I hardly wear any of these, but I do. I, I don't wear them a lot because I, I always wear angels. So they're there if need be. This is so cute though. Honestly, it's a 30 mil, is it? Yes, it's a 30 mil bottle of Versace Bright Crystal. It's got the little crystal on top. And this is just the like funnest fragrance. If you have a lot of people like this fragrance, it's quite... I don't want to say generic, meaning it's boring, but generic as in some fragrances don't work well on some people's skin and some fragrances do. So I think this is an all-rounder kind of fragrance. If you're not sure of what you want to go strong or musky or florally, this is that sort of fragrance that I feel like everyone might be able to pull off. So that is Versace Bright Crystal. Then this definitely would be expired. I, I know, it has to be. It's from my like college days. Let's smell it to see. Test. Test. I'll, I'll test for you guys if it smells like vodka. Yep, see that's off. Oh, you can just tell. Oh no, it got on my nose. Ew. Just tell. It's like, yeah, it smells like alcohol. It's like walking into, I don't know, a brewery other than smelling like the fragrance is meant to. This is Davidoff Cool Water. I definitely got this back in my fashion college days because one of my friends in my in my class at fashion college always wore this, so I ended up buying it as well. And it just smells the original smell of it, not this bottle right here. This smells like grossness. But the original smell is just like fresh, clean, shower, amazing, fresh. Like you just ran into the ocean waggled yourself around, swam with dolphins and got out looking glamorous and amazing. Ding! Dab it off. Then the last one. No, the third last one. This is probably off as well. I don't know how to tell my husband that, but in this box he bought me Ralph Lauren Romance once. I want to say maybe six years ago. And, oh. Oh, romance is the most feminine, beautiful, romantic, whimsical, you would imagine, floating around in a white ball gown. Like, it is the prettiest fragrance ever. And this is one of those uh, 15 mil dabbers, like you dab it, you dab it on your neck, like Marilyn Monroe would have or something. Lastly, no, not lastly, pocket size. <laughs> this is the cutest. 10 mil, 10 mil angel star. How cute! And you just spray it like that. I keep it in my car and I have another, the, the mini one I hauled like the beginning of the year, I have that as well. And I actually have another one in mom's car, but they're so cute. So that's the star, that's what the star usually looks like. And lastly, truthfully lastly, it would not be a perfume collection video without one fragrance from Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez and Paris Hilton are the celebrities that started celebrities making perfumes, for sure. J-Lo Glow, I had that. I've got this, which is Liv. Uh, like, you name them, I've had them. And Paris Hilton, I've had them. They have gone off. 100% they've gone off. This one hasn't, because I only picked this up maybe last year, but this is J-Lo Liv. I think the bottle is just in itself a work of art. I think it's so pretty. It's like genie in the bottle. And just such a cool, again, fun. I would put this in the same category as Juicy Couture. Yeah, like bubbly, fun, bubblegum kind of. See, like, like they even look fun. They look like you just want to go to the circus. So that is it for my perfumes. I don't know how long that was, but it seemed like it was ages. Okay, quickly I'll go through my nail polishes if I can. This is my uh, nail polish bag that I keep all my nail polishes in. Thank God it is so well made. They are phenomenal. I love them. Thank you so much to my good friend Tanya Handbag LVR who put me onto my other bag. But they make now, they make pouches and these toiletries. But it is from my other bag. I will leave the link to their side below. And this is their toiletry with a uh, kind of um, McQueen inspired clutch on the front of it. And 
I am so glad I got this because it houses all my polishes and truthfully I don't know how we're gonna go through this it's crazy I feel like I've just got to show you in brand but I can't hold them all up so we're just going to do this really really quickly 500 caramel cupcake we have this on our nails today from Rimmel London and it is amazing I love it my other nude I love is Collie Star which is cameo what color 637 cameo from Collie Star is like a foundation nude color then I have just got Easy Going 300 from Sinful Colors, which is more of a white creamy color. This is all my nudes. They're, they're all sitting in front of me. At first sight, this is the nail polish I wore to get married. It's like a pearly creamy white. Very nice, like a nude. This is, um, God... Cotton Candy 03 from Essence Nude Glam. Some of these polishes might not be around from Essence because they change their nail polish collection all the time. 08 Peaches and Cream. Again, another nudie cream color. This is all the nudes. It's just got to seem like all I wear is nude. Mimosas for Mr. and Mrs. This is a beautiful creamy nude again from OPI. A very famous color from OPI. Oh, not a nude, a grey. Rimmel London 60 Second Speed 803 Man Overboard, which is a grey, like stone grey. Really like that color. Sticking in the greys, Master Plan by Essie. That is a grey color as well. Really like that. This is such a cool color and seems similar to my other Rimmel. But Rimmel London, Rimmel London Salon Pro, the Kate Moss Collection, 237 Soul Session. I really like this. I used to rock this a lot, probably until I got this guy. Number one, hands down, I said it in my last video, 162 Dare It Nude by Essence. I wish I could just have a whole liter of it and bathe in it. It is probably going to be like Angel for the rest of my life. I love Dare It Nude. Essence 125 Absolute Blue. I have worn that in an Instagram post as well. It's like a sky blue color. Very fun. This I said in my uh, unboxing of my Eugene wallet from Louis Vuitton is Indigo Nights 180 from Revlon. This was a competitive blue with 105. 5 to Endless Blue from Sinful Colors. If I hold them up next to each other, you can see there's real, not a lot of difference. I mean, Revlon might be a slight bit darker and this might be have a bit more pop. Then from Essence, sticking with blue, color, and color to go, The Boy Next Door 129. That's a similar blue, a little bit more aqua -y. Might not show on camera. And then 128, Let's Get Lost. Another Essence, 109, off to Miami. This is really cool. It's like super corally. It's, I've said before, it's like um, Cajun Shrimp from OPI. That is that such a cool color. The reds that I have from Essence is Do You Speak Love, uh, 113. And this is a new one I got, 114 Flame Fatal. This hand's Flame Fatal, so they're cool reds. And again, I always rave about Essence Nail Polish because of Derek Nude, but they're super cheap. Like cheap. $2.99, $1.99. Uh, one, three, two, Breakthrough. Look at that purple. That is like true purple. That's like royal purple. It's really pretty. This is a deeper purple, and it's got a little bit of a pearl through it. 148 Prom Berry. So that actually is a purple. I don't know if it's capturing on camera. This is 138 LOL and it's like a citrus, citrusy kind of yellow, more greeny citrus yellow because that is a bright yellow so you can see the difference. And the bright yellow is Essence 137. I'm so blind. Want to be your sunshine, of course. This is an orangey color and it is Essence 115. No, it's red. Revolution. Redolution. Get it? Jeez, that's, that's crazy. So that is a red, but it's like more of an orange red. Because here is my 
uh, my big apple or big red apple big red apple from OPI and that's like true red like blood red next red Rimmel London 60 second speed 305 naughty but nice that's another red these dry so quickly these 60 second speeds and this is another kind of um it's almost over actually it pretty much is all right that's going to go be in the bin but anyway <laughs> Three, uh, four, three, zero, Coralicious. I've worn this quite a lot in my earlier videos and that's very corally. Another, well, uh, like a dupe for that actually. Are they quite similar? Salon Pro Rimmel um, from the Kate Moss line. Uh, 317 Hip Hop. Oh, th Hip Hop is the one that I said is like Cajun Shrimp. Yeah, this is like Cajun Shrimp as well. These are both like Cajun Shrimp from OPI. Maybe Rimmel London more so. Oh my god, this is taking so long. OPI, OPI's Don't Be Coy With Me. A super famous orange colour. I used to wear this all the time when I was younger on my toes. Um, so it's like an orangey coral orange. This is a straight orange. And this is from Essence. Colour to go. 145. Uh, flashy Pumpkin. So cool. They're such cool names. I would love to have the job of just coming up with names for nail polishes. These two essence have to show you. Serendipity just showed you. Serendipity 37 is a beautiful chalky kind of lavender. 146, that's what I meant. Funny. But it's like a mint, but in real life it's like a Tiffany blue. It's like that Tiffany blue aqua colour. I have a matte nail polish from Sports Girl and it's just the black matte. And that comes out super matte. It's really cool. I have a ballerina pink. <laughs> 104, I can't read. Sweet as candy from Essence. 520 Lava by Revlon and it's this really cool metallic -y iridescent pink coat from Sally Hansen. This is the speed dry, quick dry. It is fantastic. I also have the 3D shine. I've shown it before. I would prefer the quick dry over this uh, as a top coat. Rimmel London Rita Aura collection in, oh, I can never read this one, uh, 703 White Hot Love. That's the Rita Aura collection. It is a absolute opaque white. If you're looking for one, that is a great one. Doesn't streak. This is a cheaper alternative. The Maybelline New York Color Show is this is the white version of that, and it's uh, Porcelain Party 380, and that's just a white as well. I have a Rimmel Lasting Finish 170 Lively Lilac, so it's a lilac y color. Another Barbie Pink 106 Free Hugs from Essence. That's a very pink. I've worn it once before. A jet black from Essence. 144. Black is black. Duh. I have a few metallic pol polishes. Three to be exact that I have worn a couple of times. We've got three of them here. And one is a Max Factor. And it is the Gloss Finity. What number is it? Oh my god. 55 Angel Nails. And it's just like a metallic-y kind of goldy. Uh, copper and then this is a goldy uh, metal gold metallic color see that it's actually really really cool and it's from the metal rush line with Rimmel London and it is number god who knows oh my god what number are you how are you meant to tell people on YouTube if you don't have a number two three 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 that's pretty cool though and then this little guy I got from uh, L'Oreal Paris, 185, and it's like a kind of charcoal metallic. They're really good price as well, those little polishes from L'Oreal. This is Sweetheart, super famous colour from OPI. It is a baby pink, ballerina pink. It's looking white, but it's pink. It's really famous. Another pink that I have... Uh, is 060 Cafe Pink from Rimmel, uh, uh, from Rimmel, from Revlon, sorry, and that is, yeah, a ballerina pink. It's very, very pretty. Then I have 02 Iced Strawberry Cream from Essence, which is like a pinky pearl nude. Of course, I have Vacation Time 264. I just showed it in my favourites, a beautiful pink undertone terracotta from Sinful Colours. 
then my last one from Sinful, Sinful Colors is 949 um, Nirvana. Is it? Yes, Nirvana Brown. It's a beautiful brownie, um, yeah, chocolatey brown color. Then the nail polish that went missing in my Chanel collection is right here. I did, in fact, find it. It is Vendetta from Chanel. It is a deep, deep purple. This is a really famous color from Chanel. But there it is. I found it. And my last polish and all-time favorite next to Derek Nude, these two are my Take Home Forever polishes. OPI's Black Cherry Chutney. This is the best dark, burnt, raisin, purpley, mystical color. It is not like Lincoln Park After Dark. Lincoln Park After Dark has a lot more black in it. This is a lot more berry tone, but it is just an amazing nail polish. So between Derrick Nude and Black Cherry Chutney and Angel, these three are my everything out of this video. Absolutely everything. It is so dark now, guys. Sorry, I've lost my light. I do hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know in the comments below what your favorite perfume is and your favorite nail polish is. Not from my collection, your own collection. So that I can check them out too. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, guys. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so, that would be great. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care, guys. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,